Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. <laughs> and we are going to back into the Wheeler's Raid lineup. Local. Yeah, right. we're going right back into... Two miles down the road. Yeah, it's over that direction yeah. someplace. So... <laughs> that way. No, that way is like Publix. I live that way. So it'd be like No, you live... I don't know. Whatever. It's really nearby. <laughs> uh, so Wheeler Raid, we went through some of the history there. It's named after a Confederate general yep. that went and raided a bunch of supply Union supply supply wagons. Wagons found out it was um, full of booze and so they stole the booze instead of just burning all the yep. wagons. Uh, so waste, that's what they named. Can't it. Oh, waste it. Absolutely, I think that was a good call. This uh, second release is their barrel proof. So it should be cash drink, not barrel proof. Sorry. Um, this should be very similar to what we found in the 01 oh, release. One. Just a little ramped up. There are, there are at least nine. I think there's a tenth, and then they just released a honey one. Yep. That is kind of the lineup. Which is good. I yeah, I can try it. Yeah. So we will be going through the whole lineup I, at, you know, over some amount of time, but uh, we wanted to jump right into the second one. Before we get into the actual pouring and nosing and all that kind of fun stuff, um, end of July is my birthday time frame. It is also uh, National Sarcoma Month. And as part of that, we like to do a fundraiser around the Sarcoma Foundation. So anything between now and the end of July that you donate, we will match up to $500. So. Um, please, if you are able to, it's a great foundation for a very difficult cancer to treat. Uh, we'd love anything. Anything counts. Just anything, and small, it's going to get doubled large, up, medium, right? And we're we're going to match it. So we appreciate your support. Thanks for that. And on to number two. Every so time. as we said in the first O one, it's yep. it's sourced. Yep. More than likely MGP. More than <laughs> likely MGP. Since uh, Indiana it says Indiana, and so the just screams, yeah, MGP. <laughs> I don't know what other distillery. I know there's are there are other distilleries in yeah. Indiana. I don't believe there any of them are big enough to actually source out to various other things. They their big thing is they source all their whiskey, to mm -hmm. my knowledge, and then they do various finishings. Mm -hmm. Uh, select barrelings, things like that. Their cash strength is, well, this particular release. So uh, they do release them out in batches, but this particular release is batch number two. Four year, two month, and 118.4 proof. Okay. So not a crazy proof, but solid. Yep. You don't get it on the nose. No, no. I mean... There's ethanol on the nose, but yeah. it's not that it's it's not blowing you out at all. There's more just kind of there's some sweet Sweetness, notes, caramel, vanilla. I mean, kind of yeah, the very middle. standard bourbon. There's sweet another, there's another sweet note though outside that. Little oak, A little maple syrup, a little syrupy. Ooh, that's interesting. Now I'm interested to let me let me see power suggestion. <laughs> I'm not quite getting maple syrup. The proof does show up in the very beginning. There's a whole lot of different sweet notes. It's gonna sound really weird, but. Now you get the maple syrup? No, I don't get maple <laughs> syrup, but I do get like, what is that? Almost like a graham crackery type, like honey sweetness yeah. to it. There's something in there. And then I get a lot of, uh, cherry like a dark cherry yeah a little bit of sounds weird again i'm gonna go i, I keep getting weird notes here little twizzlers mm. <laughs> that's that's i really like that palette that's a nice palette and it finishes really nice too there's uh the sweet notes are there there's an oak note that sits there the proof like i said it showed up like really fast and then it kind of dissipated pretty quickly. Really nice. I'm trying to think. This, I held on to it for a little bit. Yeah? 
it reminds me of the Woodford, um, oh man, was it the Weeded or the Malted? Or not, the Weeded. Not sure I've had that one. It's the Maroon label. That's, it reminds me of that. But this is better than that. The, 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 their I was going to say, you weren't a big fan no, of that one. No, the Woodford <laughs> should have stopped at the OG, uh, in my opinion. But um, no, it's along those lines. I'm going to say it's really different than the 01. Wow, it's just got a bubblegum note. This is weird. I like this. This is really fun. There's a lot of different sweet candy notes. Is uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to step away from actually trying to specify what it is, but there's a lot of sweet candy notes on the nose. The palette is similar. Um, the proof is nice. It's a good bottle. What did it set you back? I want to say this was, all right, so this is more expensive. So I want to say this was 80 bucks mm. versus the 01, which is their regular release, which I, I can't remember if that was 80 or 84 proof is like 45 bucks. So pretty material increase. Yeah. I want to say this drinks better. I really like the profile of this. Is it worth the extra, like that much more? Mm. If, if proof is your thing, absolutely. And variety of notes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more complex than the 01 was. Even for 118, though, if you kind of hold on to it, I didn't aerate it. You hold on to it for a little bit, you get the burn, but it's yeah. not like... It's not aggressive. No. It's not an aggressive ethanol note. It's, it's okay, this is hot. This is, you know, like you said, 118. Be really interested to see what this tastes like with like a drop or two of water. Yeah. Just to pop open the uh, oils in there. I like the simplicity of their bottle in the label. It's just, each one is just yep. 01, 02, 01, yep. 03. And the fact that they're playing that much. Um, I, that, that's one of the reasons why I'm really interested to do this whole lineup. They have, all right, it's either 9 or 10 plus the honey. Like, they have a know, lot of different through, varieties. I know they're through 9. Yeah, I know there's 9. I want to say, I thought there was a 10. And then they released the honey. Maybe the honey's 10. I'm not really sure. But it's, it's a great, like they're experimenting with a whole bunch of things. They're all about the finishes, the barrels, the, the impacts there and what we're going to do. But very solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still need to make it down there. I've been once. Yeah. Yeah. They have some weird hours. Yeah, it's like they... Uh, it's, they have daytime hours. Yeah, and then they break for a couple hours for a late lunch. And then they reopen for happy hour. I don't know. Before before this episode comes out, I'm gonna say let's 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 make a day and make it there. We don't need a day. It just says right down the street. <laughs> True. You're that's totally correct. But I mean just pick a day. Right. Saturday. <laughs> not taking a Saturday. A whole day. Yes. A Saturday. They're not open on Sundays, right? No. They got they it's a we little just, hot. We were just at the brewery the other night and it's right next door. Yeah. Not open. Not open. Missing the boat there. I would think so. Why mm. wouldn't, like, how do you not open up your tap room? Well, no, nah, not a tap room. Tasting a, room. Tasting room. Slash bar. For, like, football. So, I, I, I know it's not big. No, it's not big. So they're not looking and for a I huge crowd. When I was in there, it was more um, tasting, a couple signature cocktails. And music, and right? Yeah, they have a they have a number of um, local bands that come through and play. That's kind of their that's kind of their their vibe. So their thing. All right, all right. I I hey I would go in there and sip on some whiskey and watch some football. Just say, <laughs> I'd be good with that. Power suggestion. Maybe maybe we'll see. <laughs> I'd go and hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, very I, solid. It's very solid bottle. <sighs> The price? It's a little high. Yeah, it's a little um, high. Yeah, 80 bucks. Now, I don't know if that's them. That So there's not a whole lot of like information out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's their price or if that's the liquor store I bought it from's price. That's um, a kicker too. I'm trying to think when I was there, I don't, I don't think you could buy a bottle. 
Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> like the other distilleries, when you go, you can buy yeah, it buy from there. A few dollars more just to Is cut. that a Nolansville thing, maybe? Oh I would think so. <laughs> yeah. They have some weird roles, right? But it was kind of a, an issue for them to just get open, wasn't it? Like, didn't they have some issues they opening were op- and closing? They were and... open, and then they were told they had to temporary close till they worked some stuff out with the city and... Or town, I mean, we're not even city, or I guess we're yeah, town. The amount of alcohol that they had on site was over some ordinance yeah. of some sort. So, yeah, I'm guessing there's probably a Nolansville issue, not necessarily a... It's a pretty popular place around here. Like, a lot of people I know go. Yeah. Um, especially the following of the bands. Like they, they like to go in. Just trying to think, though, you know, the few stores that we we go to, I know one or two that I always see this on. Especially the tasting bars. Yeah, yeah, but it's right. not. It's not all over. The, all over the city. No, they're they're really trying to stay local. I I don't know why because it's really yeah. it's solid whiskey. Mm-hmm. I think they they have the potential to expand out. I have no idea what their distribution is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if they're really going outside of Tennessee or if they're just staying like. Here, I would say they're staying around here. I don't know how big their distribution is. I don't know how big their. I'd be curious as how much they're putting they release out. Release a year, exactly, of, yeah. and especially. And the fact they do nine different ones. Yeah. How much? How much of each? Yeah. How much of each are they putting out to the fact of how big can they actually distribute? Right? I mean, I'd be curious. I would imagine that this is probably not the same for each one. But what's out of the nine? What's the most most popular? I don't know. Well, I've only had. Well, I only remember the two. Uh, I know we, I've we, had. We sampled the. We've other sampled ones. other ones at at the one liquor store that does. They have a bar that has does a lot of samplings. But can I remember which ones which? I th- I know they have a double barreled one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they have a couple finishes. I, I don't remember all of them. We're gonna go through all of them, and we'll have all the information at some point. But. Nine different ones. But like Old Force would be awesome just to find a place where we could just buy the... The whole lineup. The whole lineup. Yeah, I would agree. Whole lineup. It's hard. It's it's. I think that that's going to be more difficult than not. So at some point, we may go out of order because we may not be able to find <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> and we'll figure that out as we go along. Overall, I it's a solid whiskey. Um, the fact that... I mean, if it is sourced from MGP... Whatever they're doing, and I know that's their thing, is they focus on the finishing. It's a really good job at finishing, mm-hmm. and the flavor profiles that are coming out are really interesting and different to other MGP bourbons that mm-hmm. we've had. Which there's a lot. There's a lot. A lot. A lot. So I like a lot. Well, one and two are in the books. Yep. Hopefully we can... We'll find more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll see. I know I've seen three, so I know three is findable. And I know someone has the honey. Again, we hope you enjoyed this review of Wheeler's Raid number two. Uh, if you did, as always, we encourage you to swipe that like button at the bottom of the screen. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified every time we put out a new episode. If you uh, do have the means, if you could donate to the Sarcoma Foundation, down uh, the link will be down in the description. That'd be great. And obviously, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.